Monkeypox is now considered a global health emergency. According to the World Health Organization, the health agency declared that over the weekend, just one day after the Maine CDC reported the state's first confirmed case of the virus. Now the Maine CDC has two challenges. One, containing and tracking the spread of the virus, and two, preventing stigma against one group that is particularly affected right now. Right now, the risk to the general public is low, and that's a good thing. Our goal is to keep it that way. Dr. Nirav Shah, director of the Maine CDC, says one group in particular is at an increased relative risk. This outbreak has predominantly affected, right now, men who have sex with men. And that's because of the way it started in Western Europe at some gatherings, and that has spread through those very tight-knit, close communities. According to the U.S. CDC, 99% of cases in the country are among that population. We acknowledge that it could potentially affect anyone, and indeed, we don't want that to happen. But we simultaneously acknowledge, as we have to in epidemiology, that different people have different risks. We're not going to run away from that fact. Again, anyone is at risk. All it takes is skin-to-skin -skin contact with someone infected. Now, public health leaders are trying to prevent stigma that can come from these statistics. That there is no such thing as a gay disease. Viruses don't abide sexual orientation. In that sense, anyone is at risk from monkeypox. We don't stigmatize those who are at risk by noting that they have a higher relative risk. If anything, according to some experts I've spoken with, we have an obligation to be straight with people that there are some groups that are at a higher risk than others. It's the concept of certain communities being at risk, not at fault. The LGBTQ plus community already experiences discrimination just for existing. Katie Rutherford is the executive director of the Franny Peabody Center, which fought to provide care for people dealing with HIV AIDS. She says that epidemic taught us how damaging stigma can be because it prevented people from getting care. To really stand up for others and to put a stop to that in its tracks. The biggest strength that we have is just understanding it and being brave enough to to stop that type of behavior. So being a good ally. Yes. Uh, we want to make sure that those who are at a higher relative risk have what they need to stay safe. And that video right there is of the vaccine. Dr. Shaw says the state has enough doses of the monkeypox vaccine to vaccinate 311 people. He says we should expect more supply in mid-August. He also said that right now, it's especially important to be open and honest with your health history if you are meeting someone new.